guys, it's Jess with Soulby Home. I have been wanting to use this gorgeous color for a while. It kind of deserves to be the star of the show for once. Usually it's just in blending or stenciling for me. This little piece was perfect to use this gorgeous lush green that really does have garden undertones. It's just a beautiful color. I'm also using my little zebra brush. This one has the perfect angle for getting in these little nooks and crannies. I like to wrap my brush in plastic between coats just to cut down on having to wash brushes because that's something I do a lot. You can really see here how much better the second coat looks too. So always remember, don't, don't judge your first coat based on your first coat. It will always look rough. Underpaintings in general typically do, but they're necessary and just like a base coat is. So you can see that I have taped the gold wire pieces that were behind these doors. It was really cool to find a thrift piece that already had something like that that didn't even need to be redone. I love the gold color already. And I feel like that's gonna really go well with this secret garden green. I'm going to add a stencil to give it some more of a folky bohemian look with the cheesecake, which is an off-white that goes really well with this color. And this is one of my border stencils from a multi-pack that I get from Amazon. I like to just stipple it on kind of heavy because I know I'm going to be sanding this piece. I also sprayed my stencil with a stencil adhesive before applying the color. So before I actually take the power sander to the piece, I want to take a handheld paper and just kind of rub it over to make sure that the paint isn't going to just all disappear as soon as I hit it with the power sander. And it's so hot and just almost suffocating right now in North Carolina. My paint's drying really fast, so this only had to dry for a couple hours before I was able to go ahead and hit it with the sander. I'm just creating a really rustic look here, of course hitting all the edges and trying to take a little bit off of the stencil as well just to make it look worn and like it's been there for years. This is where you feel your paint just get buttery smooth as well. And I'm using a 220 grit. I typically do the gator paper. I use this um, Ryobi. It's a battery operated sander for small projects. And when it's something bigger, I use my DeWalt that actually plugs into the outlet. And that way I can hook that one up to my shop back as well. To go ahead and clean it back up, I'm just going to use my um, water mister just to get my cloth really damp and just kind of go over it lightly with a microfiber cloth. And now you can really see how beautiful this color is. It is just such an underrated color, I feel like. This green goes so well with rich wood tones as well. Now I'm just gonna add some gold to the hardware and I had already put it back on so I'm just gonna add it while it's already in place because it's so small it's kind of hard to do those sometimes unless they're being held down and this is just gold gilding wax once you use it you just need to walk away from the piece for at least 24 hours to let it fully dry and then it still needs some cure time and here's the final result. I think this is the perfect little aromatherapy cabinet or medicine cabinet. It goes right on the wall. It's pretty cute. And just a little stencil can go a really long way with adding some character to a piece. 
I hope you enjoyed watching. Have a great week.